Hi everyone, welcome to Trax Gaming. There is a huge uh, topic I want to discuss, which is, well, there are a lot of questions I receive of, hey Trax, how can I make a lot of gold in a short amount of time? What's the best way to make gold? What's the best this, the most valuable this? What is the, the <clears throat> fastest way to, what is the best profession to go with? What is what, blah, 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 blah long boy here, okay. Fact is, guys, boys and girls, a lot of discussions. What is the best way to make gold? Like what? What is the best way to make gold? Uh, specify your question. First of all, you play this game to enjoy, right? So if you do not enjoy like gold making, like everything included, why would you? Yeah, there are a lot of dungeons you can run. If you do your emissaries on multiple characters, you can earn enough gold to make a token a month. If you also keep in mind um, the Paragon chests. So when once you get to Exalted and you finish up more rep, you are going to get an additional chest, right? There are enough gold quests out there. Yeah, enough simple quests out there. Uh, a misconception is, ah, oh, I gotta level uh, all characters to make gold. I gotta have every profession maxed out. No, you don't need every profession maxed out. There's just a lot of gold makers and content creators and, and just people generally enjoying playing on the market, which want to expand into everything they can possibly make. But if you are starting out gold making, it, it doesn't require you to have what? How many do I even have here? 322 auctions posted. Like I don't have a gazillion things listed on every server. I have 322 things here. I got a lot of pet stuff as you can see in, 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 in the previous video. Um, I have stuff spread across servers as well. Um, which is the best server to make gold? First of all, you go to a server if you really want to play. Like a lot of people asking these questions are people who actually play the game, enjoy playing the game. They play with friends. They do what they like. They do as they please. So first of all, you set a goal. Like how much gold do you want to earn? How much gold do you even need to do and carry you through your daily routines? And wow, do you are you a raider? Do you need um let let's say a, a a raider? Well, as myself, like we do mythic raiding, uh, we do a social raid as well. Uh, I, we do mythic key, so I need about twenty twenty five flasks a week to get through. Not on one character, I got multiple characters, so I, I need a few flasks. I need a few stacks of food, but I'm, I'm currently I'm using McDowell's Big Mac, which is like eight gold a piece on my server, and I use I'm not using up one hundred food a, a week. So let's say you use up one hundred food a week because you wipe a lot. Let's say that's eight hundred gold. A stack of flasks right now is uh, roughly f where I play. Oh, let me do, let me do, let me do. About six thousand gold. So in the end, that's almost seven thousand gold. Get a few flasks, get some pre pods, and maybe ten, twelve thousand gold a week. You know, people who want to make a token, a token right now on EU is what one hundred seventy ish. No, don't press the same button twice, idiot. Okay, 165 even. 165. It's not... That's not an over-exaggerated amount. It's like, okay. Kind of, I would say kind of okay to go with. Um, But how do you start? Where do you start up? What do you need to make a lot of gold? First of all, if you want to make a lot of gold, you have to invest a lot of time. This thing doesn't come overnight. You want to get some? Earn it. You got to earn it. That's like things in life. If you want to achieve something in life, you got to work for it. 
You want to get it faster, you got to work even harder for it to get there. Um, first of all, like the, the thing I always invest a lot of time in are my groups, my setup. Like no server has the same setup. I'm active on multiple servers. So don't expect a certain setup which works on server A might work on server B. It's not, not every server is high pop. Not every server is full pop. And not every server is low pop like okay yeah i'm on this server right? oh yeah transmogs they sell great you're gonna try that on 20 servers you probably are still going to say um based on that one server like oh that server is great that's it how do you start with gold making like depends on what you want to do like myself i buy all the stuff i have like i buy everything I don't farm, I don't farm anything. It's just basically it. There are a lot of, a lot of, uh, content creators out there with, with, who specify into, okay, where to farm this, where to get the best farm spots for that. I, I did that as well in Legion. I did it at the start of BFA. I did the anchor weed farm is sort of a farming video, how to get the most anchor weed in a short amount of time. But First of all, you got to enjoy it, like set a goal, um, reserve a specific amount of time for, to do the task. Like, okay, I set a goal, like I'm going to farm uh, every day for half an hour. I'm going to do herbs and ore. Like, I want to see if I can get gold farming herbs and ore, right? You, you could do that. Anyone can do that. It's not rocket science. You... You don't need TSM or any other add-on. Like you could use a gathering add-on, but that's just basically it. Do what you want to do. That's the most important thing. Like if you set a goal, that's like going to work. Okay, I'm going to go to work uh, whenever I please. Are you going to have steady hours? Like, okay, I work eight, eight hours a day. You try to be productive. You want to do clean up the house. You set a goal like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean my house that points during the week. And I'm going to do that for three days in a row, two hours a day or one hour a day. I'm going to do the laundry in the weekend or whenever you please. Like when you make a schedule, it's easier to to keep doing it that's just basically it i don't have gatherer right now active like i don't have gatherer active if you gather a lot of stuff you know you're gonna farm river butt near the river banks you're gonna get sea stock near the shore you're gonna get sirens pollen in every tree you come across and you're gonna get star moths at every building you are gonna come up with and you can find a Kunda's Bite in Voldoon and you're gonna and then you're gonna find a lot of ore when you when you cover mountain slopes and you're gonna get winter's kiss when you go here and uh, where there's where the where there's ice where it looks like it's winter so BFA is pretty easy when it comes to that like you want to farm stuff okay yeah go ahead fly out farm some stuff Let, let's try this quick um i'm gonna fly over let me activate loot appraiser how is it set uncommon filter uh it doesn't even matter it doesn't have to ping let me bring well i don't need a stopwatch here we go it's just i'm gonna do this for like 15 minutes see what i can get Of course I have, uh, this is a dual gatherer, this one has herbalism and uh, mining, I haven't done it for like ages, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be doing any good, and I will not be <laughs> at the best point in my game uh, where I used to do this like every day, because I used to do it as well, I farmed everything I need, so I went out, um, I made a list, I flew out, I grabbed what I needed, I crafted, and I put it on the auction house. That's if you don't have a lot of gold to invest, that is that is by far the best way to get a lot of gold. Like you farm it, you craft it when it is when it is profitable. Keep that in mind. It's just when. When or if. When it is possible or if it's profitable. Uh let's see. And that's almost okay. That was almost swallowed entirely 
in the scenery. It wasn't completely into the rock. But that's that's just that is just the basic. You farm stuff that you need, you craft it if it wields you even more gold. And rinse and repeat. Like you listed on the auction house. If you play on a full population server, if you play on a high population server, it's just like oh we got people on the auction house who continuously do the cancel scans. Yeah, yeah, uh, of course. Uh yeah, we got people here. I think they are botting. Why? Well, because they're on the auction house like the entire day. What well, how do you know? Yeah, because I'm on the auction house the entire day. So you're also on the auction house the entire day. Yeah, a lot of servers have the bigger your server, the more competition you are going to get. That's true. Oh, like everything is, is like really, really cheap on my server. Yeah, but it's like easy, easy, easy to sell on your server because there's a lot of people who request these items. Yeah, I'm not even I'm not even doing a specialized route route here. I'm just flying across here. It's not not even there's nothing recorded. Hello, Ludapraiser. I forgot uh, it's because of the LAC. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm not even where is my moonkin form? Here's my moonkin form. Nope, not even good setup. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I played this. Yes, indeed. Let me click this away. I don't wanna die. I don't want it's not even a stream, I don't wanna die. Do I only have my moonfire here? I guess I've been too active um, doing the LAC on this character. So this is not even set up. If I see something now, I know I need to fly. It's like a feral druid with nothing on it. Okay, so a lot of competition on a lot of servers. That's the big point you're gonna sell more quantities for less profit if you're on low po population the, the chance is higher that you are going to sell for a lot more profit but it's gonna take a lot longer it's gonna take longer people prefer medium population because of the less competition and still having attractive prices uh, a lot of prices on low population are really 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 attractive but I do have to say the problem that people encounter um, on low population is that sometimes it looks like nothing is selling. Like, okay, you try to sell something, you can't get rid of it. Like everything is a transmog thing. It looks that way. Like when when new when new raiding content run comes out, oh yo, you are getting you're gonna get a gonna have a blast with the current inscription, and you're gonna have a blast with alchemy. Uh, but it doesn't work for every server. It doesn't work on every profession. It doesn't work for old stuff as well or that well. Um, I have a. I'm also on a full population server. Uh, I can sell a toy for like 1000 gold and I can sell it five times a day. And it's like profit of 100 gold. And I would go to low pop and it's listed there for 10,000 gold. And I've been listing it for five months and I haven't sold it. That that's stuff you need to know and keep in mind that those things can happen. That's the big difference. So I'm flying now. I'm flying for five minutes. I'm going to fast forward this when I have like uh, 15 minutes done. I am finally in Valdun. This means I can fly a big ass circle. I can fly over anything. I'm going to do a lot of herbin. I'm going to do some mining as well. I got to watch. Oh, this is a world quest. I, I thought, oh, look at all the mining nodes. Yes, as right mining node. Okay, I will see you in about 10 minutes. And then we're going to see how much I actually collected. So here we are almost at the finish now. Just looking for one more star. Mo oh, Siren's Ball it is. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, I didn't use the hood uh, gatherer. 
Uh, didn't use any of the fancy fancy stuff. Only platinum ore is coming up because the filter is set at uncommon. Well, I use it as a stopwatch now. So let's see if I bring in the notepad. Let's see what did we what did we get? So we had a siren's fall and just just really pretty quick. This what a bad example this is. This is like 15 minutes of farming. Okay, some people will say, hey, you can, you, you gotta farm Zinanti. And well, um, this is just to set an example of what you could earn. This is like 15 minutes, right? Akunda's bite. Of, of course, I prefer to play the auction house. Like I use TSM. I set up my professions i queue what i need based on my professions and i'm not gonna add ore into it and then platinum and just do what my add-on tells me because i set it up in a way that i'm 100 percent sure i'm in the end i'm gonna make gold that is just it. So let's see here. 130. Whoops. Here we go. 42. And then 2. And if I bring the calculator with me. Let me bring the calculator. So I don't even have to use the calculator. <laughs> Maybe in the, in the end. Yeah. Let's see. If I hold down shift i'll probably have to be in game or yeah so this is 164 gold right now 164 gold right now is j if i just put it on the auction house this is 69 gold so i'm just gonna add it off screen so 264 And then this will be 196. And then the C stock would be 128. And then the monolite would be 1274. Then the storm silver, that would be 619. And then the platinum ore itself, that is 19 gold right now. This is just going out from the minimum buyout. So if we add everything up, we are in the end going to see how much potential gold this 15 minutes would have been. So this is 2,733 gold. So we're going to do minus 6%. So that means we're going to have an auction fee cut off of 5% and then 6% for relisting. So that will be this to that. And it is, yeah, 2,500. 96 gold for about 15 minutes, not going full potential. So multiplied by or that is no oh, we're gonna do it this way what I, why do i tab always so this would be it per hour ten thousand gold not working up the sweat does does this does this sell fast yeah kinda kinda Kind of fast. You know people undercut and do whatever they please, right? So you can't be completely sure if... Yeah, this is the TSM4 uh, Alpha. So it looks a little bit different these days. You're gonna have... Hopefully... <laughs> Look, I took some gold. Ooh, transferred some characters from here. So it's pretty normal that I see a huge gold sink. But if I go over here, let's see, we're gonna sell, right click it, up, just undercutting. Uh, why can't I? Oh, I don't have any gold, look at that. Ah. <laughs> That's too funny. 
How long since you played this character? I don't know. I put it in. The, oh yeah, it's all in the guild bank, of course. Let me sell these pretty quick. Okay, got some gold to vendor some stuff. <laughs> I don't even have gold. Let's see. Uh, create auction. Yeah, twelve hours. See one silver deposit. So. Let's just click everything. 12 hour deposit. Here we go. We're just undercutting everyone. Let's see how fast I can make a sell. A sale. What? 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 Create the auction. Okay. Be a little bit more patient using the default UI. Sorry, bl sorry, Blizzard. Create the auction. Create the auction. Create the auction. And create the other auction. So my auctions look a little bit like this. Don't have any bits. Nothing sold yet. If I go to TSM, maybe that's a little bit easier. Gives me a better overview. I got 2,450 gold worth on the auction now. So my tooltip was a little bit... It was a little bit higher than the actual prices. I don't know how old my data is. Yeah, almost two hours old. So if somebody undercut something for X amount. But yeah, that's what? 100. See, this is, this is what? 119 uh, gold difference. So that's good. That's good. So if like... Keep in mind, like, this is not going all pro hardcore, um, hardcore farming. This is not hardcore farming. I'm not doing laps of Zenanti. The, the, imagine picking this up while you were doing quests. Like, you know, there is a full deny quest here. So let's see, if you, if you go from A to B to C to D and then fly back, uh, pick up everything you come across. It, it gives you a nice amount of gold additional. How hard it is, is it to earn gold? Let's see, I'm going to switch over. Uh, I, got, I got a letter worker. And... No, I'm, I'm going to switch over to one of my cra crafting accounts. Let me do that. Okay, so it's not my crafting account. It's more my uh, <laughs> auction. Well... I have crafters on this account. This is my auctioneer itself. So if I do a restock like of what I have right now, you can see it right here. 428,000 gold to invest. 421,000 estimated profit based on, on TSM. Like I buy, invest huge amounts of gold. Like, this is an investment. This is like half a million gold to invest to create all of this. This is BFA only. This is this is the one I use on my stream a lot. So, you can see here, I have a few mails. I got some gold incoming. Let's, let's, let's wait until the mailbox refreshes so it shows 100 of 118 mails. Let's see what the last 100 mails wielded in so far. So 154,000 gold. This is from, I think it's the second day since I cleaned out uh, the mailbox. So a token every two days and I make more when I play more or cancel scan more actively. Um, that's when I make like a token a day sometimes this is not pure profit of course because I first have to, if I do such an <laughs> such an investment I, I still have to earn it back like the other day I bought oh what did I bought I bought a lot of tight spray linen if I look at my ledger I was at two and a half million I invested already a million into herbs tight spray or leather like look at it look at it I bought stuff if I see and what I bought for let's let's go ledger expenses from the last seven days you can see here I bought osmonide I bought a lot of food like look I bought a lot of questionable meat Nashers 
mackerels, tight spray linen, a lot of tight spray linen, Starma, everything. Like I bought a lot of stuff. Can I see it? What I purchased the last two days? I did a reset. I had to do a reset because of the what happened with the alpha. Uh, so look at here. So that's 729, 9,600, 600, 6,400, 12,800, 6,400. Look at the quantities, uh, the, the values of all this stuff. Look, I spent in the last week, like one hour and six, one day and six hours ago, almost 2,000 gold. 20, almost 26. 34, 25, 18, 27, 17 here as well. 9,000, 9,000, 9,000, 57, 57, 985, 47, 47, 8. If I go <laughs> and I just go to the food here, look, 5,600, 4,000, 41,000, 8, all the way up. I, am, I invest a lot of gold and... You got to have it first before you can spend it. Like here, 30,000 gold on Nashers alone. Osmonite will not be that big though. Uh, just over 10,000. 10, but if you want to do it like I do it, you got to spend some to earn some. So this, go, this goes gradually up. And the faster... I process everything I bought. Like I still have a lot of tide spray. I still have a lot of flowers. I got it. Still got to craft a lot of ink. I still got to make a lot of expulsum. The more work you put into it, the faster everything is processed. The more things you put on the auction house or are able to put in the auction house, the faster the gold will come in. Of course. Look, I sold a few things here. Okay, that's looking good. That's looking good as well. So the more if you want to be an entrepreneur, the more you expend and the more time you put into it, the better it's going to be. So you just got to cancel scan and post scan and, and see what, make sure you craft what you sold. Like you're going to get, you're going to venture into professions. You know what you got to do. Don't look at anyone else. If you want to completely know and understand and control what you are doing i can give you one advice like if you have blacksmithing good make one of each make one of each item like do bfa make everything every monolite piece any sinister may, maybe not the older a pvp gear do not make honorable sinister and um, and all that but but make uncanny gear like the best gear you can make make the green one so mono hardened stuff you make the weapons you make uh what is it the hoof plates anything that is profitable you're gonna make it put it on the auction house if it sells make another one if it sells fast again make two of them like when you do food make make a stack of 20 of each food like uh consumables that's like you can you can stack 20 except for tomes of the quiet mind because those are going into stacks of 200 but do a stack of 20 of each food listed on the auction house if it sells fast make two stacks does it sell slower but still good enough to to make more okay go make two stacks of that if if it sells stupid fast make five stacks of it and work your way through it. You will get to understand how your auction house works. What are the good items to make? That is how you need to get to know your own server. And you will know in the end, this is going to sell and this is going to sell. Okay, this seems like a good investment. Okay, I have been selling a lot of, let's say, war scrolls lately. Yeah, I could do a bigger investment in herbs. I, <laughs> I buy herbs whenever they are cheap enough i okay here's 400,000 here's 400,000 gold i got 10,000 crimson ink sitting in my bank i know i will sell them i keep track of what goes on in my auction house every now and then when i see herbs stupid cheap i buy them simple as that 
you just got to do what you got to do. That's it. So, yeah, I, I hope this video just simply motivates you into not researching, but explore into goal making. Make a goal, focus on what you need, when you need it, and what you like. Like, not everyone likes to fly laps, grab herbs, and put it on the auction house. Maybe you enjoy skinning. Like, maybe you are someone who enjoys fishing. There is fish out there that that, that is expensive. Go, go and do that. Enjoy that. And make a few gold out of it. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to learn, understand. And if, if you do something you don't like, first of all, you won't be happy. And second of all, you're not going to keep it up. Like when you compare with something you do enjoy, if you enjoy something, you're going to work hard for it, or it's easier to work hard for it. And that's the point that I want to make. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and at least found it a little bit helpful. So have fun making all that gold. And I will see you in another episode. Bye-bye.